Hampshire County man who police say had three homemade pipe bombs in his pickup truck is staying behind bars. The judge decided to hold the suspect responsible for US-1 being shut down for close to four hours last night, being held now without bond. Channel 9's Mike Springer is live at the Ormond Beach Police Station. Mike, what do police think he was doing with those homemade devices? Well, that's the question everybody's been trying to get to the bottom of ever since he was brought here to the police department last night for questioning. And Greg, detectives tell me at first he was really talkative, but as soon as they start to press him about what those devices were for and why he was out there, they say he clammed up pretty quickly. Damon Gauss Jr. was only in front of a judge for a minute today, but a minute was all the judge needed to decide to hold the 47-year-old Georgia native without bond. Gals did not say a word as he just looked straight ahead with his hands cuffed, wearing his orange jumpsuit. Ormond Beach police say they found three homemade pipe bombs in Gauss's truck when they pulled him over along US-1 last night and shut the road down for almost four hours. Bond is known pursuant to Florida statute section 903.0471. No bar. Police spotted Gauss's abandoned pickup truck by the woods off US-1 yesterday. According to the arrest report, officers ran the plate and saw Gauss had a prior arrest for methamphetamines and thought Gauss may be building a meth lab in the woods. The officer questioned Gauss about why he was there and Gauss told him he was looking to buy the property. But Gauss did not know the price and then said he was there to see if reselling the timber would cover the cost of the deal. That raised the officer's suspicions and he searched the truck and found a homemade pipe bomb inside of a metal cup similar to this one. Another two pipe bombs were found inside a Crown Royal bag in the toolbox. No one answered the door when I went to Gauss's former Daytona Beach apartment today. Neighbors tell me they didn't talk to him much. Gauss is facing three counts of possessing an explosive device. The sheriff's office was out there back at US-1 this morning just to search the area with their canines to see if there were any more devices out there. But so far, it doesn't appear that they found anything else in those woods. Reporting live in Orange Beach, Mike Springer, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.